Hello, hello, and welcome back to Licky Gaming, and welcome back to another series that whoa, that we're gonna do in. Uh, I literally haven't done this in a while. Uh, what I mean by that, I haven't played Farming Simulator in a month. I literally had to dust my steering wheel off. That was horrible. That was really bad. <clears throat> but finally, we got it. Uh, right, so this is one of the maps I already did a quick look on. A uh, Polish map, of course, we wanna do this as much as possible. <coughs> we love Polish maps. So, uh, let's turn off the F1. Uh, oh, I can even sleep here. That's fine. Uh, right, so this is Colonia 1990. We're gonna try to stick with the same uh, tractors and equipment that uh, kind of fit this period. And also, obviously, this map gives us an opportunity to do a little bit of a pig farming, which we hopefully will do. I mean, of course, we're gonna have to do proper farming first, like farming, and then we're gonna have to uh, see what else we can do. Uh, we're gonna have to uh, have some food, Okay, I was thinking how we can unload the grain. I was thinking of having the articulated uh, trailer, but this might be a little bit of a challenge getting that in there. But uh, you know what? We can probably do it. Right, okay. So I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be using a lot of this equipment. Uh, so we're going to start with getting something. First things first, let's see. Right, um, 100,000. 100,000 is not a lot of money. What? What do we have even here? So, garage. Oh, we have a bison. Okay, that's nice. Uh, might sell it though. Um, okay, this is too expensive. So we're gonna sell you straight away. Actually, let's go and take it to the shop because... Um, uh, oh, I remember the commands. Let's see if everything works. <laughs> it works. Okay, so um, I'm pretty sure that I don't want this... Um, trailer and this tractor, so we're gonna go and uh, sell them. Both. Uh, Fiat probably as well. Wow, I remember the controls. This is this is really, really uh, iffy for me. <laughs> I didn't expect I'm gonna be it's so long. It's gonna be so long for me, uh, me not playing this game. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Um, Harvester. Oh, it's pretty basic. <laughs> we only have few pieces of equipment, but this is fine because uh, we can start with one tractor. Uh, we're probably gonna go with Polish one, uh, like um, <coughs> or Central European one. Ursus probably, um, like 99% is gonna be Ursus, but uh, could be Zetter. Depends on what we like um, more by the time we get to the shop. So shop is right, and then right. And then left. Okay, let's go there. Um, I didn't do any detailed uh, look of this map. Uh, how are we doing with the steering wheel? Yeah, I recon yeah, I reconnected the steering wheel. So, uh, oh wow. Okay, that was for a second. I thought it was gonna go this way. Right. Um, uh, reconnect the steering wheel. I was hoping that controls will be not messed up and that they're gonna be fine. And yeah, they're fine. So we should be fine. Uh, what we're gonna do now? We're gonna sell some of the equipment. We're gonna make a plan. We're gonna go basic. We're gonna go small. We're gonna go and right hand side here. Turn it off. Uh, stick to the basics. Uh, we're gonna. I'm hoping to do some harvesting straight from the get go. But uh, can't guarantee that because doesn't the rules. You'll have to see which field do we have. Uh, let's go left here and tum 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 tum. Sure. Okay. Speed, speed, flash, flash. There we go. And uh, is it here? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna let you pass. Come on. Choo choo. Right. So if I want to sell something, okay, this here looks like a sell point, and I'm hoping it is. Why is it next to this tank? Why is the tank in the sell point as well? Okay, let's see if we can sell this. Uh, trailer a uh, seven seven thousand. Let's see this. Uh, how much is it if I sell it here? So we have garage five thousand. Okay, so we're getting more money. That's perfect. Uh, one more time. Sell, plonk, you're gone. And you, sell, plonk, you're gone. Right. Ooh, 
Nice, that's 90,000 or so. 89,000. Okay, so what do we have? We have I have a couple of mods here. Um, we have Polish pack, we have uh, Ursus pack, I believe. Um, Fiat pack, or yeah, th this is a really nice tractor. Uh, later down the line, we might get this one f as a yard tractor for for pig work. I'm not sure if we can get the front loader. Oh yeah, oh that's perfect. Uh, yeah, we're probably gonna go for the front loader attacher as well, uh, but later, later, later. Uh, let's go for something that we're gonna be able to use here. So that means we're gonna have to be plowing. I'm thinking about agro mash, but it could be a little bit bigger, uh, too big for us. Um, since I want to do... Yeah, we're gonna have to have a normal tractor, so uh, normal being... Uh, we're gonna go for something... What did we say that we need? We need a cedar uh, trailer. Oh, let's go for a tractor and a trailer, but uh, still I need to uh, see how big of a horsepower do we need. So let's say... Um, tarum, 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 tarum. Where are you? Oh, here we go. Cedars. So obviously we're not going to be able to go for something like this. 180 horsepower. Um, 108. Interesting. This is 3.6 meters, 3 meters, 3 meters. Uh, that's a little bit on the big side for us. This is 100 horsepower. I doubt we're going to be able to use this. Um, so the smaller ones. 85 horsepower. 110. 108. So if we get something like this, we should just be ready, but I'm probably gonna go something like this. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to choose a lot of this stuff, so... Uh, I'm probably gonna go for mod or something, and for now I'm just gonna um, think, 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 what can we... What else do we need? What do we say? The lowest one is 85, so... Uh, something in, in the range of 85 horsepower, 210. Uh, I think that would be perfect. Higher the better, of course. Let's see what do we have. Fortress, I'm gonna skip for now. Zetter, this is a nice one, and it's in the horsepower range. Ooh, look at this Zetter here. Versus 117. Now we're cooking with gas. This is this is awesome. And the red one, I like red one. It has lights. This one looks like a more pie. Like this one has lights as well. This one is a bit cheaper. So what's with this one here? 47 horsepower. Obviously this is only for yard work. 51 horsepower, 51, 71. I think this 117 would be... Um, yeah, the, the cheaper one. Let's go with this one. So I'm gonna take this one and uh, no front loader attacher. Okay, we need to choose now. I don't think we have... Uh, uh, any uh, mechanical stations, so we're gonna have to choose now. GPS, yes. No, okay, no. Mud flaps. Uh, we're gonna go with standard configuration. Oh. 500 kilo front weight. Okay, we might have to go with this. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's let's go with the basics, and if we need be, I might buy. Um, we'll see. We'll see how. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And uh, wheel weights, twin wheels, standard, standard. So basically, we just waste a lot of time uh, and just bought the basic stuff. Uh, oh, colors. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Right. Um, what would fit in this map? The best would be articulated trailer, so I'm gonna go for one of those. So also, let's see, uh, we have a fortress here, which is perfect, but um, I have a couple of modded ones here. This is for some truck, not gonna use that. This is too big, and uh, these kind of stuff here. Oh wow, that's a capacity is awesome on those. Uh, I don't think I will go for this one. It's a little bit on a big side. It's, it's, okay, yeah, we, we're gonna keep with the smaller one. So, 11,000, 15,000, and empty. Okay, so, what's with the 18,000? 14, 15, 11. Oh, 15, 15 was the big one, okay. So, do we, I think, maybe this with the cover? 
I think this with the cover would be nice. Okay, let's use this one. So we're gonna buy that one. It's gonna be so much fun for us uh, unloading that. Right. Uh, let's go to first person view. Let's get back to the farm and see if we can do any work today. Uh, we're gonna have to purchase a field or two, maybe. Uh, yeah, of course, of course, you guys, you probably notice that we are not doing this in um, in the uh, seasons mod. We're gonna be doing normal. One. Wow, this town looks awesome. Looks so Polish. Tadam, 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 tam, tam. Ah, hear me roar. Okay. So let's go back to the farm on the right hand side. I'm gonna st stick to the good old plan of having 20 minute episodes. Um, I think that's the uh, that's the best way to go. Uh, they're the, mo the smaller digestible pieces. Uh, I think it should be um, it should be nice for for everybody. It wouldn't take me too long to do it. The map is quite small. Uh, fields are small. We should be able to do a lot of work in 20 minutes. So we'll stick to that. Do we have a trailer still on? Yeah, perfect. Okay. I'm thinking that the farm is here. I don't remember it being so hilly. Colonia, yes. And... Uh, here we are. Where's the farm? Farm is on the left here. Okay, good. Uh, oh no, it's the next one, okay. I'm a bit lost here. Actually, you know what? I haven't seen our harvester where it is. So, could be the harvester is somewhere in the neighbor's yard or something. So, I am going to park this one in here and check out the fields that we have. Uh, a lot of this stuff from here is going to be sold. So, let's turn this off. Oh. Uh, yes, I didn't change the settings, of course. This is what's off. Time scale. Let's go with real time. Uh, oh, good, good, good that we don't have this. I'm hoping to do a lot of um, uh, a lot of stuff on our own, so I think this is fine. Right, 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 right. right. Okay. Oh, we're still not in there. Let's let's push it a little bit further. So if we choose to go with the tractor somewhere, so we're gonna be able just to detach. I'm gonna leave it here, and uh, yeah, let me check on the map where the tr harvester is. Okay. Okay, it's all, all the way here. Oh, there's another part of the farm there, okay. Do we really own only one field here? Oh yeah, only one field. And what do we have in that field? Uh, barley. It's growing. Uh, let's go and get the harvester. I'm gonna go and jump, uh, do a jump cut. I'm gonna go and get the harvester, and we're gonna go and let's let's go straight away and purchase a field, one that we can, one that we can harvest straight away. So uh, I haven't done harvest in a while, so uh, I'm aching for for a harvesting session. Well, uh, do we have any field that uh, uh, was? Uh, Oh, 52 here, right? 52 is ready to be harvested. And what is on the field 52? Barley. Perfect. I think that's awesome. Uh, yes, so escape. Let's see how much the field costs. Field 52, 14,000. Bam, got it. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go and get the harvester, see in the field. And here we are. This is the field on the left. It's a little bit hilly, uh, which is not a problem whatsoever. Uh, so we're gonna get cracking, and I'm gonna start harvesting this. So let's go this way, just to get a head start, and uh, we should keep the straw. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to find some modded uh, uh, baler that will definitely fit this map, hopefully. Uh, so we're gonna see how that's gonna go. So this field has been uh, fertilized and uh, was it plowed? I think it lacks um, lime or something, but uh, we pro hopefully we're gonna prepare it as much as we can afford. We're gonna prepare it for next uh, sowing session after we're done with uh, with harvesting. Uh, so I need to choose this and lift it. Okay, this is neighbor's field, so I'm thinking I'm kind of aiming towards that I shouldn't be driving on it so much. 
So let's try... Okay, let's just try cutting in the middle here. Wow, okay, that was a little bit bumpy. Um, yeah, I decided to go with this harvester because I think it, we have it already, so that's one thing. The other thing is that um, other harvesters are expensive. I think I have a modded foreshit that would fit this map, kinda. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I haven't driven Fortune in FS17 uh, in FS19 since FS17, so um, let, let's quickly check it just just for a second here. Um, so if you go for harvesters and modded ones, I have here Fortune is 89,000, and uh, Bison here is 84,000. So more or less they're the same. This one has five and a half thousand capacity, and Bison has uh, three hundred three three and a half thousand capacity. Um, the other thing that we have is the header. Header for bison is 4.2 meters, which is one of the bigger ones for the small for the small harvesters. While the foreshit one is a little bit bigger, maybe even a too big for for this map. And I'm I'm kind of still they didn't fix this. So a sunflower header harvester. Uh, uh, the sunflower header for a harvester fortress is still not fixed to 15 kilometers per hour. I mean, it should be. So technically, it's only um, cosmetic um, uh, that you have a different um, that you have a different uh, header for sunflowers, which also it's it's a good reason, good enough reason for me to to use it, but. Um, it would be nicer if you have some kind of advantages f for getting a, uh, um, a header for a totally different crop, you know, and a um, sp specific crop. So it would be nice that you have some kind of benefits in using it. So here we go. We're... We are harvesting our first field. So let's lift this one. Let's empty the straw in the back. And let's keep ahead. I'm just gonna... Okay, I think I think this is good enough. Just to clear a little bit of space here so we can uh, maneuver around. Right. How long are we gonna make these episodes for? I was thinking like 20 minutes would be a mark. Uh, but more or less, if I have a big job in front of me and the uh, episodes turns out to be shorter, we, we're gonna be fine, right guys? It's still gonna be okay with that. But also, if this episode lasts for more than 20 minutes, it, it, should, it should. I really um, want to finish... Ooh, I probably should wait for the straw to unload. Hopefully it is. So, yeah, I'm thinking that this episode might be a little bit longer. Not sure what the timestamp on is it, on, on it, or is on it now. But uh, hopefully it's gonna be not, not too much deviation from 20 minutes or so. So... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is quite nice field. I kind of enjoyed doing this now. For now. Uh, yeah, we have a couple of grass fields left and right of us. Not sure if we ever, if we're gonna purchase those and how much grass work we're gonna do in this uh, series, but, um, just something to, uh, to, to keep in mind that we can purchase in the field next door and then work on it as well. Okay, let's lower it here, and let's do this one now. Okay. Okay, we're doing it. Right, 84% full. That's almost 100% full. One would say close to being full. Uh, our farm is just there, and I think we're gonna go and jump real quickly and get a trailer so we can start unloading this. Let's do... Let me turn the harvest around. Wow, okay, I didn't know there was a traffic on this road. I didn't know that people are allowed to drive wherever they want. I'm used to... Uh, I'm kind of used to good old Poland from the old days, where <laughs> the traveling was restricted. Actually, I, 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 I don't remember the good old days. <laughs> uh, here we go. Okay, and... Uh, which button is for a pipe? Haha, <laughs> still remember all of them. Okay, just quickly, I'm gonna go and run to get our uh, trailer and... Uh, oh, oh. There we go. That sound was me jumping in the water. So, yeah, Fiat is gonna go as well. I'm gonna sell Fiat tractor and uh, probably gonna do that either in... Well, episode by episode probably or off screen or in one of the jump cuts. And uh, let's go and get into this Ursus. 
and get this trailer to the field and get that barley unloaded as soon as possible. I'll see you in a second. And here we go. Uh, I'm gonna leave it running here. I'm gonna go back into our bison. First person view. Uh, Start it. Yeah. The only problem with this uh, Fortress trailer is that it's on the wrong side. So it kind of opens on the wrong side. Look at what I mean. Uh, so opens on the right hand side and it's kind of in the way of the of the boom, but the boom is uh, the, the the pipe is uh, higher than the than the trailer, so it shouldn't be a problem. But it's uh, just a weird design. Okay, and we can go. Yes. Uh, hopefully, we're gonna be able to do this in one go because I think we are to the limit weight wise. And there we go. Of course. Why would it be simple when it can be complicated? Uh, but that's just a little bit. Okay, well, I was, I would, I, if I knew that it was only this little, I wouldn't even go back. But since we are here, I'm just gonna do it real quickly. Unload so it doesn't look wonky. By the way, wonky is a word in Polish as well. well I learned recently, so it means uh, meadow. So Polish 101, wonky meadow. Okay, I think this is gonna be just up and down the field, and we're gonna end it there. We're gonna continue in the next one. We'll see what the next we're gonna, uh, next um, mission is gonna be. Could be a uh, bailing. Could be uh, could be something else. Uh, I'm still not sure what to do with the bales. We don't have a bale trailer, and uh, we would have to have our own mechanic in order to keep switching the trailers from. And I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if we have mechanic or not, but if we do, I'll definitely use the trailer we have for transporting the bale. If we don't, uh, well, I'm gonna have to do something about it. We're gonna have to find a way to transport those bales. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have bales and baling. We're probably gonna have a new tractor as well, uh, the small Fiat one with the open cab, I think would be perfect for this. Uh, I'm gonna consider maybe uh, small bales, but uh, I'm not really sure that we want to go that path small bales because uh, we're gonna be selling them anyway. So let's turn this off, unload the straw, and that's it. I think we're gonna finish it here, guys. So I'm gonna say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Uh, Constructive criticism is always nice because I can learn from that. Uh, I can't really learn from insults. Uh, at least nothing good. Right. So, uh, like, subscribe, notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.